All right, what's up, everyone? My name is Ricardo, and look, I got a special guest today. Uh, before I dive in, I want to tell you a little bit about what we do here. Hey, if you want to be, you want to level up, you want to learn, you want to grow, you got to get in the right rooms. And look, I'm doing that, so I invited somebody that I know can provide a lot of value for everyone. And um, I met this guy at a show, and this guy's like a like a master networker. He's got a consulting business. Uh, he's helping a bunch of people level up. And look, it really is an honor to have this guy here, Jeff the Entrepreneur. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, welcome. I, you know, I'm always wondering if I should uh, get away from Jeff the Entrepreneur because it's such a punchy name. And I started that. <laughs> when I wanted to be an entrepreneur, right? I started that because I was going to document and not create content, which is now what we're doing. Now we're creating. We've gotten to the point where we've done it. But that's when I started it uh, this morning. But hey, how are you doing, Ricardo? Great great to be on, man. Thank you so doing much. Great. Hey, thanks for, for coming in, man. I want to share every, uh, I want to share a story about you because you really have helped me a lot. Even if literally I met Jeff at a show, I was... I was the type of person that's kind of like, I didn't really know what was going on. I went to a show, kind of got the middle grade ticket. And then I, I stuck around with one guy the whole show. It was a two day event. It was Driven Business Bootcamp with Albert Preciado. And uh, Jeff, I met him through just me hanging out with one guy. Cause Jeff is just like the ultimate networker. Cause this guy can go around the room and talk to everyone. Exactly. And look, he helped me right off the bat by just introducing me to Millionaire Barber by Chin. And by the way, thank you so much. Look, I'm actually in Chin's, Chin's uh, network too. And I Good. actually went to visit All him. right, Aaron. Aaron's, if Aaron's listening to this, I've been telling Aaron to read you Chendi. Yeah, I call him Uchendi. Is that his name oh, or no? That's his name, yeah, but nobody can say it. Uh, I can say it, man, because I couldn't say it for a while. He's actually, he's a um, great guy, man. We're going to have to... Yeah, that's so cool, man. So you, how do you find him? Through me? I shouted him out or something? Through you. I didn't know who he was. And then you were like, hey, you're a barber? Oh, hey, I know this guy. And I'm like, yeah, dude, hey. that's what, dude, life's all about connections, man. Uh, yeah. And I've been very blessed to do that. So I was a consultant too and help people all the time. So yeah, you well, yeah, me, I, send me a referral, all right? No, I, I know, right? I just wanted to say thank you for that. And look, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. You could be anywhere. But look, you're here with me. I, I appreciate you coming on. It really is an honor. But hey, tell 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 us about you. Like, what's your story? How did you grow up? And where'd you grow up, man? Are you from California or are you from Miami? So yeah, man. I, I'm. How long till you're from somewhere they can say you're from, man? I'm always. I'm. You're gonna have to pay me to leave Miami. All right. I'm That's in right. Midtown Miami. <laughs> We're gonna build a, a coffee shop, podcast studio. This is literally a here mm. in years. I'll oh. explain why in the store a story a little bit. But you know, I grew up actually in Connecticut. Um, very similar. Uh, the first job I remember having was a lemonade stand, very similar to, uh, Gary V. I had my brother and sister out marketing, uh, doing ch color signs. I remember $88. I felt he's the richest guy in the world when I first had to count it. And I, you know, never gave up the niche after that. We rented a house at the time. We were definitely probably not the, and I hate to say this to my dad, I don't know how much he listens. Definitely weren't the most wealthiest family. We're never really poor, poor, but it was always wearing out the bills, uh, foreclosure on the house, just like you know, sharing rooms and stuff that like, I think it, most people can relate to. Okay. Um, because, uh, everybody acts like it's, Oh my God, it's so bad. And that's like 99% of people grew up that way. Okay. So however, what happens, we all have stuff happen. My mom, uh, I lost my mom to breast cancer in 1999 before Y2K. She had no life insurance. My dad almost lost the house. Uh, I took out two loans to help him save the house. Uh, I went and worked at a job that I really didn't like. Uh, to do that, um, I wanted to play football. I was a, I was a, a, a coding a kid. My mom got me a book on HTML. I used to code HTML and have websites back in the day. I actually coded a, I don't know. Do you know what Adventures in Odyssey is? No. So it was, it was a radio show, man. I loved radio. That's why I love podcasts. That's what we're going to build in the podcast. Heck and yeah. I coded one of them. I competed, competed with one of the top podcasts, always our top websites. Anyway, fast forward. Um, that's kind of how I got into being an entrepreneur, man. I was always doing certain stuff then, and it wasn't until, um, you know, and this is really the pivoting. If you guys don't know the story, um, 2016, my older brother Jay lived down here in Florida. He moved me down yeah. here. Um, you you know the story, right? Yeah, I do. So, and that that's that's really it. And he said, Jeff, you know, I know you talk fast. I know 
I see a lot of entrepreneurs in Miami that have business owners. You can do that. Let's build a business. That's I was right. teaching behavioral middle school, um, uh, you know, money management, video editing. Yeah. Uh, and, and basically he said, Hey, quit that job. Come build a business with me. And two days after we had the blueprint, I went to wake up my brother. Um, and he died on drugs, fed on my older brother, Jay. And so me and him had the dream to build a coffee shop, music studio, a radio wow. show. And that's why I'm going to build wow. that here in Midtown Miami. We're going to launch a celebrity podcast called Kokomo Jays in there. Yeah. Actually, my younger brother, um, we got inspired by one of my our uh, mentor, uh, Pashman Davis, the PBD podcast. Yeah. My younger brother, why I have this mic is we do the J&J podcast live stream All on right. YouTube, uh, Twitter, and everything on it. We talk about the latest business uh, thing. So podcasting is a huge part of it. My career, my first podcast that changed it was the Make More Money podcast. And being a master connector, you know, I was able to get a lot of uh, big guests on. So that's my story. Um, I, and basically, um, that's it, man. We built out this business here I'm wearing called Change Dude, Life I, Consulting. Man, we, I know. You, you're, 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 yeah. You're legit, man. I Thanks for sharing all that story. Like, it's just inspiring. I didn't really know that your brother um, was really was the inspired to do the podcast coffee shop. That sounds like a really great idea. And when I'm in Miami, I'm going to go to it because yeah, I love Miami, by the way. Yeah, hundred percent. That's why everybody now is a consultant, by the way, <laughs> tell people you're a consultant. You'll get more people asking you for coffee, dinners, all this stuff too. Right. Right? Once you love yourself up. And when you do that, um, I, people ask me for coffee all the time. I'm like, man, I can't wait to have my coffee shop. I'm not, I'm not right. monetizing on all this, you know? Hey, that's cool, man. I, I think it's a great idea and I think you can execute it, but, um, no, man, like I, it's, it's great to know that you started from the bottom, man. I can definitely relate to that. You didn't come from a wealthy family. It's actually, you're an underdog, man. Yeah, dude, I've it's, always been an underdog, man. Exactly. Yeah, says, I've always loved the underdog stories, exactly. Rocky, it really is. right? Yeah. Any underdog story. And I think every man's been through the underdog story, right? They've all felt like they didn't fit in. They've all had their heart broken, right? Uh, yeah. They all felt like they had to become something more, right? Yeah. And that's it, man. And it's funny because I think a lot of times too, I still seek out why sometimes I don't crush the content as much as I always want to look at the under get. Like, how's this guy closing 50K contracts when his content looks like this? I remember yeah. a girl saying to me, and I was like, because the value and uh, and what you provide uh, of really just your reputation and your brand is your name, you know? Man, yeah. And you definitely stand by that, Jeff. Uh, I want to really... I acknowledge you for that. Um, you know, obviously you, I'm in California, you're in Miami and we connected. So no excuses. We made it happen. And, um, yeah, I want to, I want to talk a little bit about your consulting business because that's how I came. You know, I've been messaging you and you, you got back to me and finally, like, you know, I could, I went to WealthCon, so I, I signed up with their content thing. Yeah, but, they're great, uh, dude. I love Ryan. I love all those them. guys. As long as they get the result, <laughs> I generally want people to see for when. If they do a bad job, yeah, 100%. I'm gonna mad at them. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to them. I know some of those guys though. We almost yeah. did something together. So no, they're definitely, great. man. And and this is not the end, man. We'll we'll, we'll work with something in the future. Uh, you know, I know you're we we align, and I don't know you too well yet, but just from seeing you in person, dude, I times, love you already, great. man. Like I mean yeah. this. You have a great energy. I was watching some of your content, your demeanor. It's yeah. just very likable. I can see why you have a very successful barber shop uh, on it. And you're just, you're more than just the barber, man. You're a true yeah. business entrepreneur. I can Thank see you. it. And any way I can flow to that, man, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely man. This is just the start of it, you know? Hey, that means a lot, man. It really does. Uh, I feel like barbering is always under, underlooked a little bit. Me too, even, man. I feel yeah. like they're the underdogs. That's why I always yeah. outlook these guys and they're so talented to get to where they're yeah. they're artists and everything. So yeah, you're speaking. But yeah, man. Hey, you know, you know, if I wasn't for Barbara, I wouldn't be here. So I, I, you know, it's a great, it's a great way to get started into a business. So right. um, it's been great, but I want to ask you, Jeff. Um, So can you tell me a little bit about your, your personal journey, journey of building your personal brand and like how it impacted your business now? Like now you're a consultant for building personal brands and I like what you're doing. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Like how you got into that avenue? Yeah, so I was always just trying to break through the noise. If you're ever trying to break through the noise all the time, and it's very hard. Marketing is is that disruptor. Point. Yeah, disruptor. And really, yeah. it started. Um, it started by me do, doing door to door solar. The hardest hustle you could ever do is door to door, right? So yeah. I figured I'd do it. And most multi millionaires went door to door. I was like, fine, sign me up. I'm doing door to door <laughs> solar. I'm knocking on doors, dude. I'm going down all these long driveways. Nobody's opened the door. Yeah. I then all of a sudden whipped out my phone. I did a Facebook live. Okay. 
And I told the story in this format, emotion, value, and a subtle call to action. I said, hey, That's right. if you guys don't want me to be knocking on your door, okay, I will. Yeah, take, take that note. That's perfect right there. That's the whole holy grail to it, okay? I said, yeah. he said if, if you don't want to, I will. Um, I said, if you don't want me to knock on your door, my vision and value is build a coffee shop, right? I was telling the coffee shop. Um, I'm selling solar. If you help enough people, you guys want solar, share this to somebody who needs it. That's all I did. People yeah. share that video. Okay. That video. Hey, this kid is doing solar. He wants to build a coffee shop and honor his brother. And then I got so many leads by doing that one little live video. I shared it to town pages, right? Yeah. So that's literally kind of how um, it started the personal brand. People knew me. And this is what I'll say for you. Get known in that neighborhood. Like I'm in Midtown Miami. Where yeah. I was out here passing flyers. I'm bringing everybody here. You're going to have to pay me to leave um, to, to be anywhere, right? And I've been blessed to pay to speak and all that cool stuff. But I'm going to build a community right here. And that's what I did. Even though I was in Connecticut, it was Southern Connecticut. Um, I built out a community right there. People knew me as a solar guy. Just then, I wound up then... Um, working for a window guy as a mentor. I did a lot of one-on-ones with some of the big guys we know. Uh, Grant Cardone said, hey, stop trying to make millions in the software business. Because I had, I was investing and I had an AI lead generation software business that got lead yeah. that I was pitching and, and selling. We still own it. We That's how we got into consulting. Oh. That, that oh, business cool. taught me a lot, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, now we use Progretta, which is a, it's a goal high level, uh, which has AI. Uh, it's I'm an affiliate of it. But yeah, fast forward, I wound up um, doing that again for the window business. I, I was going live on the window business while I'm selling windows. That's Andrew Tate, man. Andrew Tate sold windows. It was the toughest thing in the world to do. He ain't yeah. wrong, man. You do that. You're, you, everybody needs windows. I would say anybody right now, go get a window job, okay? Go yeah. sell windows. You'll learn a lot from yourself. It's high ticket. When you convince somebody, okay, and persuade them that $44,000 of vinyl in there is going to make their house better, and their face beautiful and they can paint them. Um, it's yeah. it's the best deal. So that's yeah, heck yeah. So that the get known in your own neighborhood there Dude. and do it by telling a story. Man, that's a great advice, man. Like getting known just starting where you are, right? Like starting like I'm in Cypress, Orange County. Get known in Orange County, get into the all the local networking spots here, and then it's gonna ripple from there, man. It's like the bumblebee, man. The bumblebee effect is when you just are doing what you gotta do. You know that you got your vision aligned and you just go, go do it. Well, what's your story? Tell me your little story yeah. about you got here and now. I want to hear this. Oh, sure. Yeah. So, I mean, look, um, I was a very scarce mindset guy, right? You know, I thought I knew a lot. I started my barbershop. Honestly, it was a good, it was a good avenue to get into real, real business ownership where like hiring, you know, what, what systems am I using? Um, building a brand from scratch. Like I didn't know anything. It was such a, basic basic thing that i did but it like blew it up into knowing like hey i can't do this on my own man nobody's listened to me nobody wants to work with me and i was like i need help so i started going to these events i was like i don't know inspiring champions i went to like a a barber show event and there was like personal development courses mm -hmm. and this company uh it's called inspiring champions man they're old school you know older lady really high energy like high energy, man. Like she's in her seventies and she's like, yeah, like blowing up. And I'm like, what is this? Like, what is going on? And, um, they offered me coaching and, uh, you know, when they pitched me, I was like, oh, I'm good, man. I don't need all that. And man, that was the biggest regret I had, man. Yeah. These people had like years of experience in my industry. And I said, no. And I want to, I want to tell you a, a testimony about that because these girls that were in my group super kind my industry is awesome man these people that are like in the same business they like yeah. to help each other and for some reason the salon business is a little more open than the barbering yeah but no, right. it's all women man i know my aunt was a salon girl and they're all like yeah i i know what you mean yeah they're very open to help wait, wait, because guys those guys man we like to think that we can figure it out on ourselves a lot yeah that's just yeah. that we have that in us. So we have to admit we need help. It's very tough for us to do. Any guy yeah. there can relate to that. Yeah. So these women, man, they're they're like they're bosses, man. Like it's crazy. Um, but these girls signed up for like the top tier coaching. And like they were my friends already. And they have a salon in uh Seattle, Washington. Yeah. And man, like one year later, man, they had a team, bro. They blew up. And like I saw their their website and their brand. It was amazing, man. They helped this, they helped these people like 
build up their business. And I was like, dude, I got to take a step back, man. What am I doing wrong? And then, you know, came across some people. And finally, you know, I got the help from a company called High Performance Salon Academy with um, Jason Everett. Have you seen him online? No, I have. I'll have to check him out. Anyways, this guy, I mean, these guys are, are, their foundation is based off, you know, Blair Singer trainings. Hold on. You know Blair Singer? No, who's Blair Singer? Blair Singer, he's uh, one of the top trainers in the world. Like, he's one of the top trainers for consultants. Okay. He's helping people in India. He's helping people globally. And uh, this then. guy, yeah. Yeah. Is that barber consultant or just me? No. No. Um, actually, let me show you real quick. He's actually part of the Rich Dad Advisory with uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Oh, is he really? Sure. Oh, okay, then I got Yeah, he wrote this book, Sales Dogs. Blair oh, I've Singer. I've never even heard of this guy. This is crazy. This is awesome. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, yeah. So Blair Singer, you know, and, and I'm certified in, in teaching people Team Code of Honor because I can tell you right now, it's very hard to find the people that are going to align with you in your business. Yeah. If you don't have a Team Code of Honor, you you don't have a way to hold them accountable. Yeah. You don't have a way to find out if they're going to agree with Dude, that's what so you're... key. By the way, we did this. Uh, Patrick Van Davis, the event, the vault had us do this three years ago. We did a code of honor, right? Oh, you I did credit for you. Oh, it's awesome. It's um, I'll show it to you, but we hold everybody yeah. to the core. We hire him and fire. And I don't think it's anything wow. new. Like it's, it's probably the no, same yeah. thing, right? Yeah. But it's what works, man. It's yeah. <laughs> no, they can show up. This is what, you know, integrity, persistence, these words. And we have a code. We took a whole picture of it. And we posted it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for it. So yeah, that's that's the yeah. best way to do it. So yeah, wow, this is awesome. So what got you, now I'm, I'm flipping the script here, but what got you to then make the decision to say yes to coaching? Um, oh yeah, it, so right? I, had, I was scared, man. Like I was like so scarce, man. I was like, what? I was just like so, um, I was just so stressed out. And like, and I had anxiety, man, waking up like, man, what like, I don't know what I'm doing with my, with my business. Yeah. I'm making some money, but it's just not, it's not aligning. Yeah. So I, they offered me, um, you know, I got on the phone with multiple people. I kept saying no. And I finally got on the phone with them and I was like, I don't know what to do, man. I may fail here, but I'm going to, I'm going to sign up with them. It was like a $20,000 investment. I was scared as crap, man. Yeah. But I, you know, when I let go, man, when I let go that pff, ascended up, man, I don't know what it was. Got introduced to a bunch of crazy and really, really awesome business owners that are very supportive. Um, you know, learned about training people, being the right coach for your team, yeah. knowing how to deal with them. Like, I'm still working on it, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best. I'm not. I'm working. But here's the thing. But the fact that you're aware and you're doing it, man, I love yeah. it. And that's that's the biggest thing. That's what we do in consulting on this side. Yeah. It's so funny because. So many people don't know. And a lot of leadership is built one-on-one, -on -one, right? Yeah, so times it is. Want to just go and tell people to do it. You got to show them. I, right now, we have a guy doing a webinar. He just made 36 k on his last webinar, right? But wow. It was a whole team. Yeah, it was really cool. And he had no brand, nothing. You go look up his brand and stuff. Actually, he's doing a meetup <laughs> there for our inner circle. I run an inner circle, right? Mastermind. Yeah. I'll have to invite you to come to one tell of Tell me about that more in, in a bit. Yeah, because he's really, he's just on a different level, but um, he did it with his team. And so- we were coaching him that, you know, uh, hey, what are your core values? You got to do one-on-ones with these people yeah. to help them grow. You can't just say, hey, they don't know if you don't right, really just show it to them, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's just, it's cool, man. We've helped them build a whole business, literally go from nothing to a whole business in a matter of a couple months. Yeah. Man. And we've done that a lot, man. I'm a true, like, Gary V business owner. Like, it just yeah. fits for me. I, and uh, I love doing that. But anyway, dude, so that's, dude, awesome. that's, dude, congratulations. I now I feel great, man. In the DMs late at night, I know you're in the thing. It was like 1 a.m. I'm yeah. sending you everything. Our automation wasn't working at the time, brand. So oh, that, man, I lost this guy to somebody else. And then you invested <laughs> in yourself. You got the 100K formula course, which is brand new. Oh, by the way, I got to say, that thing is amazing. Hey, that in itself, you're undercharging. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's going to be a $500 course. So if you go to getclc.com slash... 2k it's 2k now yeah with a miami meetup so you got the opening oh. deal we're gonna be loading it in with certain stuff and any oh. questions that you have in it we'll load it in and that course is going to be a oh. phenomenal course that's the one and we also are going to be giving away um a free course that i did a long time ago i i filmed it on vegas it was my first course called mastery marketing which is just insane amount of knowledge we're going to be doing that as a promo coming up soon dude that sounds amazing man i'm excited for you like you're packaging everything right. Like 
I'm already excited for it. I don't even know what it is, but I'm like, hey, you're going to do a mastermind. You know, you're packaging this course, which I already told you I paid thousands of dollars for to the information. I did. I did your course, by the way. Yeah. It's great. Like yeah. what you're saying right off the top of in the beginning. I'm like, hey, I paid thousands of dollars for this already. And like Jeff is yeah, already dude, putting that's it on just video. the beginning, by the way. I made it because <laughs> I used to do courses and it would be so long. And I couldn't get through them. I made it should, like now's the time to get it because I made it short enough, quick, so it gets to the point. If you have any questions in the support oh. chat, ask the support chat. We'll record videos and put them in. And keep, I don't know how long we're going to keep that up, but we're going to keep that up for a while to get people to resolve. Yeah. You know? Cool, man. Uh, so are you using Progetta or, or are you on another? Yeah, we platform? use Progetta right now. It's a go okay. high level. Uh, Andy Date is like a, a, a friend, mentor. I've consulted him. He's consulted me. Uh, it's just, you know, you kind of learn. You grow up in levels. I, 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 Andy's, uh, man, he, if you could ever get one of his 197 specials, it'll change your life, you know? Really? What's his yeah, name, Andy? What's up? Andy what? What's his name? Andy Audate, okay? Uh, oh, I think I know him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully, man, I always make him known. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, he's he's a good dude, man. Him and uh, I, I, I hang around our inner circle and people we have. They're, they're, he's actually a CLC licensee. These oh guys wow! Are the best Ooh. man. Yeah, we have a licensee model. Right. That's, that's a little newer. Um, Maritza Garcia, she just came on. She's building out something special with her. Uh, yeah. Empire Academy too. So, man, your changing lives thing is gonna blow up, man. That that's great because yeah, we're doing our first seminar, and I'll say it on here. Oh, our tell, tell me about Hermosi or Gary V at it. I've talked to both of those guys in the past, so Dang. we'll see. You know, we're gonna need more sales and more 100k formula courses to. To, to basically earn it that way but uh, right. i love those guys those guys have been a pivotal part to me and we're gonna we're gonna do it right when we do the event you know man that's cool so so when is your event gonna happen uh have you ever done one already so like, we, did, we did a mastermind we did a mastermind uh event in cancun called no brainer offer we help people do their offer it's when i spoke at an event in vegas i had um one of the guys who i helped make 10k in one day a turo i think i showed you his testimony oh um, yeah he, he came and spoke at it um, he's kind of, uh, and I say it, I say it this way and I got to get in trouble because someone got mad at me. He's, he's the most kind hardest, looks the flashiest, yeah. uh, really great guy. Um, and he's really always challenged me to believe myself more. And, uh, you know, I, I really sometimes give him a hard time. Like he gives me a hard time, but yeah. it, it, it's, it's, the, he's good. He's like a brother, but, uh, yeah, that was That's the first awesome. event. We were about to do another, uh, mastermind here in Miami, um, but we had another client that was doing a jet mastermind. So it's kind of, we paused that, but we're going to be doing signature dinners every month here in Miami, which are like mastermind dinners with influencers, business owners, celebrities. Uh, and then we're, we're going to do the event, I think in May, we're going to do May 23rd around that day. We don't have it at the double tree here in Miami. Um, right after, uh, Grant Cardone's, uh, growth con in April, we're going to do it right then. Dude, I'm, that's awesome, man. Hopefully I can make it to uh, one, to one of your masterminds soon, man. Yeah, uh, if you can't make it, then definitely make it to the event. We're going to pour a lot into it. I helped yeah. someone, one of my premier clients, I helped her put on her event of all women. Yeah. And I know what it takes. I've helped a lot of people. So it's good to finally do a flag and start putting on events for myself, you know, because that'll Dude. really make me go to the next level. There, there, there yeah. was a, one of the guys, you know, what Tim Story is? Yeah, yeah, I know Tim Story. So he oh, was on my podcast and he said, hey, Jeff, it's okay to be people's number two and be the number. And I, that's what I did. I was the number two and helping their card. I was helping the people blow up, right? And I did it, man. It was great. And I just saw him at an event just down here. And he said, hey, Jeff, your time is now. So I decided, listen, no matter what, I just rededicated my business to God. We were out in Medellin, Colombia. Nice. Uh, we got we got wiped out by the IRS uh, pretty oh. bad. You know, we have that moment. Yeah. I went to go pay one of my sales guys, actually, Ken, who you spoke to. And I uh, checked oh, yeah. both my counselors at zero. And Shalom and Nathaniel both texted me the verse. Do you know the verse, Jeremiah 29, 11? What is it, man? Uh, I'm not. It's familiar. for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper and not harm you. And dude, oh, yeah, I man. never knew that verse. Listen, Andrew Tate said it. The Bible. His grandma said the Bible has true answers. Is the yeah. truth. It is, man. It spoke to me. I was on for an 8K webinar build out proposal of this guy Emmanuel. I'm gonna be speaking at his event, and he on his ring it said Jeremiah 29:11. Wow. Okay. I got really quiet. I prayed. I said, God, I've been a horrible steward of your money that you've given me. Uh, yeah. everything i will i'll be a better steward of it you know uh, from then and here we are man um and i've really rededicated my business to god and it wouldn't Dude. be there, there there's there's a verse in the bible in matthew when jesus says hey you know the uh, the birds they don't store up uh, anything uh 
you know, for, for that. And your heavenly father takes care of them. Do not worry how much you are more valuable than, you know, your heavenly father. And it man. really spoke to me for anybody who needs to hear that, man, don't worry about anything. Yeah. Uh, the Lord will take care of you if you, if you put your trust in him, you know? Yeah. That means a lot, man. I grew up in the church, so I'm very, I'm very much a believer too. So, I mean, I think that's another thing that we align with. I'm like, man, um, do you put it in God and it's going to be, you know, don't even worry, man, as much as an entrepreneur can, can like a business owner can stress out. But if you have some, something like that, so powerful with you, like Jesus and God, man, unstoppable. Yeah, God, God, God's already gave us the promise, right. Of what we have. It's yeah. up to us to figure out the plan. Right. right and, yeah. you know, sometimes our plan isn't God's plan, but right. when we surround ourselves with people on the same plan and we do our business yeah. plan and everything it's great to have a plan out there and then you know have god direct it you know hey man you've always been bold so for you to stand up and and speak up about you know this that's bold and i know yeah, that you're that's, bold. So. that's a new me man so I'll, I'll be totally transparent you know i always kept god and business separate right i didn't yeah. want to alienate some people and um dude i wouldn't be here without god man like yeah his favor that he's given me so much all the time like, that's why I'm at where I'm at. And it's funny because my foundation is getting stronger, Ricardo. And yeah. the reason why I haven't blown up sooner uh, or whatever whatever people say or maybe that was yeah. because my foundation wasn't strong enough. And Nathaniel, right. I actually, one of the things was in the plan was starting a VA company. We have a virtual assistant company called CLC Assistance because both Nathaniel and Shalom are the foundation of it. And, uh, oh, cool. you know, in the Philippines and we have some people in Mexico have put a really big part in my heart to give jobs right. and um you know, really helped to business owners, but helped to them there in the, in, you know, overseas, you know, I just love yeah. doing it. That's awesome, man. I need to, I need to message you about uh, the virtual assistant because I was working with another company. So I'll, I'll have to talk to you about yeah, that. We'll take camera. care of you. Shalom. I'm going to give all credit. She's working on this right now, prospecting, you know, we're in a, we're in an interesting part of our business because I trained two sales guys and, yeah. um, and it, it, it just being totally transparent, you know, we've closed 50 K deals. We've had hundred K months and you, you know, business is business, right? This is how it is. So yeah. I, I took the pro and this is probably something that anybody can learn focus. And I built out a whole VA business without knowing it turned into a charity for a while. And uh, if we don't, but we have everybody happy we're recording testimonies. We just got a referral. Uh, yeah. Shalom knows how to find the best people. She's finding leaders in churches. It's wow. amazing the people she's finding. Uh, for wow. and we, we train them as integrators. You ever read the book, um, Gino Wick, uh, Wickman Traction? You ever read that book? Yo, I have it. I just haven't read it. <laughs> yeah. So well, anyway, just read the part of integrators. As integrator, a business right? Because we're the visionary. You need an yeah. integrator. That's what we train people to do um, awesome, for uh, for CLC assistance. Man, that's cool, man. I'm excited for that too. Like, um, you got a lot going on. So I, I want to ask you, like, how do you, like, how do you manage everything, man? Like, someone like you that's like you know you have a you have a business it's going good and now like you know you got you got partnerships you got this like how do you how did you stay how do you stay aligned and focused man like do yeah, you, time, do you tell time time block your time what's more valuable time or money right, right. time is way more because you can always get money back and right to do this time block is was one of the best things that you can ever do the way i do it is green is sales right making money Blue is personal development, okay? Yellow right. is working on my business, it's slow. And oh, red is cool. spending time with people I love, right? And time blocking that in a way where it's like that. Or doing mini days. I remember if you're working three jobs, I broke it down to three mini days. When I was working my software, I was selling windows, you know, six to 12, that, that, that was, I actually just texted Ed Milet this morning, which was oh. really cool, yeah. And uh, he's the one who came up with mini days, which helped me. So a lot Damn. of times in that, but- I'll say this, man, get an executive assistant. If you start getting people, yeah. keep, you know, message you can, uh, Angela before him. I know I had somebody else before him always have an executive assistant and keep my schedule. He just texted me. I was actually uploading that video. Hey, record yeah. at two o'clock. So that keeps me in sync right there. And man, the that's cool. Thing anybody can do is do a time audit. Go take your phone, say, Hey Siri, set time for 15 minutes, write down what you're doing every 15 minute blocks. Right. Right. And then when you see when you're not doing it, right. It's all the stuff we know. Then pay somebody to just hold you accountable and say, hey, you should be doing this at this time. I did right, that right. for a bit. It was the best thing ever because it made me realize how I wasn't spending uh, my time the best way, you know? Thanks for sharing that, man. I appreciate that. Um, damn, that's super important. Now, that's like a high level. That's a high level skill right there. Like 
Yeah, we'll put that in the 100K formula course. I'm going to add that with this thing. So I'll go. I know you went through it, but go through it again. I'll add that in there because that's too important not to put in there, you know? Right. Hey, man, thank you for that. I mean, I know the, the course alone, like if I can share it, I, I definitely recommend it for people. So, man. Yeah, we're coming out with um, an affiliate program. Uh, it's kind of like the Andrew Tate program, $49 a month, and people can be affiliates yeah. and then share any of our, even our 50K packages and get it. Uh, and they'll get more support. So I'll let you know when that comes out. That should be out. Uh, after february you know oh man man thank you so much brother hey man like i really appreciate you coming on man like you dropped a lot of knowledge in this short amount of time that we had and uh it, it, i'm gonna put on my video to follow you um jeff the entrepreneur do you have a youtube channel that you want to share or, yeah, yeah. Or? Uh, if you just search jeff j cunningham or jeff the entrepreneur you'll find me there uh yeah we're redoing our youtube now we're actually building a studio in here in uh, midtown miami that should be up in four months uh, if we close in, uh, close enough, uh, 100K formula sales and stuff too. Um, but yeah, no, definitely follow me. DM me, Jeff the Entrepreneur. DM me when uh, we have a webinar uh, that we do every month. Um, that's on automating your brand message. And uh, yeah, Ricardo, man, I, I love everything you're about. I love everything you're doing. I love that you invest in yourself many times again. Uh, you yeah. have me in your corner. You're, and I mean this, man. You just have a great heart. You have a great energy vibe. Keep pushing out the content. I will say this, man. Do this. Yeah. Tell your story in a in the format, motion like, "Hey, have you ever tell that story in a shorter yeah. form?" And it'll change people's lives and and do it then. And especially, right. and there's a great book. One of my inner circle guys, the guy Aaron, the Barber Blueprint. Um, oh yeah, great great book by him out there. Uh, I've been reading through it. Um, I mean, you probably can relate to a lot more than me because you probably went through all the the turmoils of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then get an ebook out there, man. Write an ebook, you know? Yeah. Like, that's what I was telling uh, Aaron, he killed it with the book. I was like, dude, write it shorter. We actually have the 100K formula book. It's going to be on Amazon Prime. Oh, uh, wow. Soon, which uh, will be uh, new before we're writing an actual book called Getting Rich Recession. Heck, right chapter 13. You might be in the the chapter of it somehow if we if For we sure. it together, all right? Yeah, heck yeah, man. Hey, I can't wait to see uh, your book too, man. I know you're going to write something one of these days soon. So Yeah, no, we're writing it right now. It's called Getting oh, Rich perfect. Uh COVID, it starts out this way. COVID-19 hit, the streets yeah. are crying, my phone rang. It was one of my wonderful tenants, uh, Hair Sass, who just uh, who was just laid off, and the call repeated with each of my tenants. The construction Dang. company where I work, JC Tenati, each person called, uh, called to cancel a job signed a week prior. We were going to yeah. recession. Everyone felt it. The world was shutting down. I did Dude. not know where my next dollar would come from. And the moment of this, this is, this is the chapter. I actually have the book memorized because I'm doing oh. it for an audible, you know? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Actually, Ken, uh, your, your assistant, he's a great guy, man. Like you got a good guy on your team because, you know, he's um, he shared a story about that about you. And he said how you he, you guys, he, he connects a lot with you. And he's like, I like this guy and I like working with him. Dude, so, him, Andy, Caesar, George, anybody who's a licensee who's gone through a training, I have the best team. I could, I know I, I get on these podcast interviews. I couldn't do it without my team. Uh, Shalom, Nathaniel. I always feel like I'm accepting an award, right? But I just, it's a, I'm, I'm an extension of it. And the Lord has given me the skills to have the, the skills to have the empathy to be a leader. And now, um, now really to be respected out there in the public is huge, you know? Man, thank you, brother. Hey, man. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Um, keep winning. Keep crushing it. Um, you know, any closing remarks, anything you want to say at the end for, for this? Yeah, I'll say this. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing in life, okay, if you lead by these three words, to inspire others always, okay, to build somebody up no matter where you are and lead to help somebody, it will extremely change your life. The gift of life of helping somebody out no matter how where you're struggling, where you're at, we is a ripple effect that can go on. If I ever one day, you know, make it to a point where I'm, you know, running for office or anything, I believe this whole world would be better if we led with that creed that we inspired others always. And listen, my dreams keep me awake every day to be there. Your dreams will keep you awake too once you realize them and do the whole reality board training and get really clear on what you want and go after your dreams because they're possible. Brother. <laughs> All right, man. That's awesome, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, Jeff. Yeah, uh, I appreciate you, man. Thank we gotta you so make much that for having me on.